who certified these financial statements? I can see Sami Ndana, principal accountant, county assembly. Is Sami Ndana still in the county assembly? Uh, yes, he's still. Is, is Sami Ndana here? Uh, chair, chair. Where, to... where is Sami Ndana? Can someone give Sami Ndana a microphone? Uh, chair, to write, to write on that, the signature is four. Mm -hmm. So I don't believe... Sergeant Tatams, we want to find out who is this certified public accountant or certified public accountant who can prepare financial statements without disclosing payables, receivable assets, contingent liabilities, bank reconciliations, and ask why that person is still certified as a public accountant. Sam Indana, are you the one who signed these financial statements, as I can see? I think you can see it was signed for. I'm the, not the one who signed. Sam Indana, who signed this? I, do, I don't know whether that for is part of the signature. So do not tell me that kind of story. Your name is in this financial statement. Are you the one who signed this financial statement or not? Uh, Chair, I'm not the one who signed the financial statements. Who signed the financial statement? It's one of the accountants. What is the name of that accountant? Moses Ngitonga. Is Moses Gitonga present? Yes, Chair. Is, where is Moses Gitonga? Where is Moses Gitonga? I think he was around. I don't know where he is now. Sergeant Tatams, can you find Moses Gitonga? <coughs> he must be brought here. They should not have indicated my name in the financial statement because I was not around. Uh, Auditor General, when an officer is on interdiction, can they execute on behalf of the entity? Chair, yeah, that cannot happen. So are you saying that there was forgery in these financial statements? Sami. Chair, what I can say that uh, the statements were signed for. No, but what does that mean? You are on interdiction. It is your name that is here. It is your ISPAC member number that is here. If you are going to hang somebody, we are going to hang ISPAC member number 11871. Is that Sam Indana? Yes, Chair. So what are you saying chair. in mitigation? Because uh, we have no other evidence to hang somebody else besides Sami Ndana. Chair, if I can say, if you, are, if you are out of the office, what happens in the office, you have no control. Do you have an interdiction letter? Yes, Chair, I have it. Why were you interdicted? Was it because of theft of public funds? Uh, not, Chair. What were the reasons for the interdiction? We disagreed with the clerk then on what, uh, the pro some of the procedures. Sam Indana, you are disowning this financial statement because that was not your signature and you are not in office at that time. And from my, my point of view, because I'm not the one who signed the reports, <laughs> I disown it. So, members, you are discussing a forgery. Thank you. We are discussing a forgery. Is that the best use of our time? No. Uh, OAG, there's a reason why you insisted in the template that the financial statements must be signed by a member of the Institute of certified public accountants for that perspective of professional responsibility. And if Sam Indana tells us that he was interdicted and his no membership number was used on this financial statement... Chairman, that's fraud. That is fraud. That's fraud. And you see, the unfortunate bit is that in this financial year, or in a prior financial year, Nairobi City County Executive also had the accounts certified by a non-accountant. <coughs> Seriously, is this how we are going to run the capital city of the Republic of Kenya? But Speaker Clark, I will not proceed to interrogate a report where the professional who is supposed to certify them has already disowned them. Where is the guy? Where is the guy we have said should be here? Administer the oath on these two guys. I, Moses Kitonga, I solemnly swear that uh, the evidence that I shall give before this committee, uh, respect of matters before the committee, shall be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So help me God. Tell us 
what you do at Nairobi City County. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I'm an accountant and a member of ISPAC. What is your role, what is your official um, designation in the county assembly? Uh, my designation is I'm um, reporting section where I see the principal accountant in preparation of financial statements, so you are, among other jobs. You are principal accountant? No, I'm saying that I assist. What is your title? Accountant 2. Accountant? 2. Accountant 2. Are you a member of ISPAC? Yes, I am, Mr. Chair. What is your membership number? I can't recall. Once again, I'll ask you, are you a member of ISPAC? Yes, Mr. Chair, I am. How much time do you need us to give you to get your membership number? A day. No, sir, Mr. Chair. If you are a member of ISPAC, isn't there a register of members that is electronic? Yes, there is. And online? Yes. If you go to the website, are you able to uh, retrieve it? Even if you can see, they can check for you. The clerk, you've got an electronic gadget because next time he's going to say it does not have bundles. Uh, uh, Mr. Chair, my membership number is 13814. 13814. Can you confirm that you are the one who signed the financial statements for Nairobi City County Assembly for the financial year ended 30th June 2021? Yes, Mr. Chair, I signed for principal accountant. Did you have the uh, capacity to sign these financial statements as a professional? Yes, Mr. Chair, being a member of ISPAC, yes, I was. Did you have the functional capacity to sign these financial statements? You could have a driver who's a member of the institute. Uh, does that driver then have the functional capacity to sign financial statements? I can't lie to this committee that if or if not, I was, I was supposed to sign the financial statement, but being a member of ISPAC, give me that three to sign for, for the principal. I have account. given you the illustration. Mm -hmm. You are a driver. Yes. And you've got, you're a member of ISPAC. Can you sign the financial statements because the substantive office holder is interdicted? Uh, Mr. Chair, if the mandate does not fall under me, I'm not supposed to sign. In your view, Chair. who should take responsibility for the accuracies or inaccuracies mm. of this financial statement? Who should take professional responsibility? I think it is the office of the principal accountant. The, the, there is professional responsibility. The ISPAC number is not assigned to an office. It is sign, assigned to an individual. So which professional should take responsibility for this financial statement? As per the financial statement, it is Sam Indana. Because who, the number is... Who, who, was, who was on interdiction? Yes. Did Sam Indana sign this financial statement? He did not sign. Are you trying to set up Sam Indana? No, Mr. Chair, I'm not setting him because you have the document with you and the number is there. So it will be sound. So you yeah, sign yeah. these financial statements on as behalf. a professional, then you are saying the person to carry the cross is Sam Indana. What are you trying to tell us? You think this is a high school disciplinary committee? No, Mr. Chair. Senator Onyong. Chair, uh, my brother, I want to ask you. You signed on behalf of Mr. Indana, right? Yes. Who told you to do that? Uh, this document, as who I said, told uh, you, who told, told you to do that? It was the acting principal accountant then. Who was then? Mention his name. She is Aris Kaoga, who is not here. What did she tell you to do? I didn't ask you to tell me whether she's here uh, or not. Uh, Mr. Chair, this is what happened, as I said earlier. It was an issue Wait of Wait a minute, uh, Moses. There was an acting principal accountant. accountant. So the principal accountant is on interdiction. There is an acting principal accountant. Yes. Why couldn't they sign? She was not a member of ISPAC, and that's the issue. What is the qualification to be a principal accountant? Uh, you must be a member of ISPAC. And you act from... in a position whose requirements you do not possess? Uh, of course, you, you, you cannot be allowed to act. We are not going to process a financial statement that was not signed by the person who is mandated to sign it. You gave us your membership number. Yes, Mr. Uh, uh, is, is your membership current? Uh, I think um, there is a, a one year backlog, but uh, I've is your, is, So if there's a backlog, are you a member of the institute? Yes, I am a member. Moses Gitonga, are you a member? You're a member of the institute, but are you a member in good standing? No. And what does that mean? Uh, this is as we speak for this current year, but previously, after that period, 
I was in good standing. But currently, no, I'm not in good standing. So when were you in last? When were you last in good standing? Uh, from last year, it's only this year. And what what is your role in the in the assembly right now? I just, as I said, that is that uh, my job is more of a clerical preparing the rangers. Then I found to principal accountant for a clerical preparing ledgers. You yes. end up signing financial statements. Speaker, you are running a joke. You are not running an institution. <laughs>